Right, what we have here is a Sturmy Archer three speed dyno hub. It is dated 1950. I don't know actually, the second, the second date stamp, the second number in the date stamp is not quite visible, but it's 1950 something. Um, I think it might have come off the superb. Um, it, yeah, I'm not sure what bike it came off to be honest. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try and get it working again. It is completely seized. There is a a very slight bit of movement in it, but none of this will turn. Um, I think yeah, the indicator cable is seized in there as well. And I don't really want to break that. Um, is it a three speed or a four speed? It's a three speed, yeah. So the aim is to get this working again, like I've done before on a regular three speed. Um, I do have two others to do as well, and both of them are seized. So it's going to be a challenge, see if I can get all these working again. First step is, as always, to soak it in WD 40, something like that, for a week and then see what happens. So it's Saturday now, I'm going to rejoin this next Saturday after it has been soaking in. I think I've got enough WD-40 there to bathe it. So I'll soak it in that for a week and we'll get back to you. Okay, so this has now been soaking in WD-40 for two weeks. Two whole weeks. I checked it last week. And it's gonna just, it's it's literally gonna pour WD forty everywhere, but who cares? Um use some old boxes just to wipe them down. I did clean them up last week. Uh not the boxes, the hub. Cleaned it up, tried to get some of the loose dirt off that had been on it. But yeah, I'm literally just pouring WD forty everywhere now. Ah, what a waste. Um light on. Okay, so yeah, this has been in there for two weeks now, and it's still solid. It's it's bound to be like the pools are probably all seized up. I just want to see if I can save it. Um, I can't undo the indicator cable, and I can't just leave it that round like that. Otherwise, I'll snap it. So let's not do that. Um, but yeah, working on a three-speed hub is a three-speed, isn't it? Yeah, working on a three-speed hub, normally, what I would try and do is obviously take off the cog first, just so I can get better access to this lock ring around here and move the entire body. Um, but first, before you do that, you'd have to take out the axle nut, which is on this side axle nut, cone nut, which is on this side. So, since this is a dyno hub, what I'm gonna try and do is just take off all the lock nuts on this side, if I can. That should give me access to undoing this lock ring around here, once I've taken off the cog. So I'm just gonna Fortunately, Sturmy Archer axles are flat sided, so you can nicely clamp them up here. Um, the all these tucked away inside because I don't want to walk around any of this dropping WD 40. She's not allowed in the garage anyway. Um, she knows that but still tries to sneak in. So, try and get this lock ring off.
Okay, so we've uh, found pretty much the reason why it's seized. I mean, the pools on the inside aren't going to be that good, but I've bought a hub back from the dead before that was seized, but I think this one's dead. Um, at least as a dyno hub, because inside, I believe, from working on them before, there should be a washer, a spacer, and this is just rust. Um, this is flakes of rust just <laughs> coming out of everywhere. That is the state of the magnet. The magnet is chock a block full of rust. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm certain this is is not going to work again. Um, I can try and clean it up. I can continue trying, but I think this is. At least this one is too far gone uh, as a as a hub. Um, I might be able to get the three speed running, like keep the internals running. But the shell on this is trash. I'm gonna clean it up and um yeah. We'll see. I'll clean it up and I'll I'll see if I can get the internals working again at least. But yeah, I think the the main downside of this is that the hub, the um, magnet, has just decided to disintegrate. Well, that one isn't coming apart. Um, it's 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 nicely seized. Um, what if the van to go past? Yeah, it's it's nicely seized. The the internals now spin a bit. But yeah, the planetary gears and everything inside is going to be well and truly seized up on that. Um, which could be saved if I can just get this damn uh, lock ring off. Like I'm, I don't care about the hut, the shell. The shell is trash now. Um, it's no good at all. So I'm going to still try and work on getting the internals out and see if I can clean them up. But if this indicator cable is seized on in there then um, it's going to be no good anyway because I, it, this whole channel is going to be caked in, in um, rust, not grease so I'm going to see if I can just quickly strip down one of the others and see if we have the same problem with them but I'll, I'll join you at roughly the same stage Don't separate anything. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> yeah, same things on this one. The magnet is full of rust. And think, unfortunately, with these dyno hubs, once the magnet is rusted like this, it's gone. And I totally just dropped it. Yeah. yeah, it looks like if your magnet is gone, the hub is gone. Because the magnet is the thing that, I guess the magnet is the thing that's going to not be lubricated. The mechanism inside I've managed to save before by cleaning that up and, um, you know, uh, re-greasing everything. But the magnet, once it starts rusting, it's deteriorating. Um, 
and it's no good. It is possible to save a mechanism, but I believe the magnet is another story. So, yeah, failed episode. Um, sorry about that, but yeah, the Peugeot, I will, it's done. If you're on Instagram, you've seen that. Um, so, I'll get the Peugeot rhythm once I get some nice sunlight to ride it in. Um, so it looks pretty for film. And um, continue on with some servicing of these other stuff because you said you liked that last time. So, yeah, sorry.